I'd never actually heard of the Glow Friends before, but I will watch any Christmas animation. So when I discovered the Glow Friends Save Christmas, I thought it was the perfect chance to educate myself about what these were. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about what the Glow Friends are, but there's a Wikipedia article that's really fascinating. They apparently aired as part of My Little Pony and Friends, so it's possible I'd seen the Glow Friends before, but certainly I have no recollection. But the point I want to make there is that that didn't matter. I was still able to enjoy this as a sweet, heartwarming little Christmas story that was actually pretty decent and something that I'd recommend if, like me, you're always looking for cute little Christmas animations. This was released in 1985, it was directed by Terry Lennon and written by George Arthur Bloom. And the Wicked Witch of the North Pole, who I have to say is a brilliant character and I love the design of her, decides that she doesn't want everybody to have a good Christmas. So she captures Santa Claus, kidnaps Santa Claus, and it's up to these glow friends to, uh, well, to save the day and, and to rescue Santa and overthrow the witch. And it's it's a fun story. It's a nice adventure. There's some really nice messages in this as well. There's a message about working together and, you know, working as a team to achieve your common goal, which I thought was a really nice message. And there's also a message of hope in this as well, which is something that's always worth holding on to. So the story is great. It's got a really nice narrative structure. The pacing is really good. The the witch was introduced really quickly, which you know I, I did think, am I going to be, you know be able to follow this? Will I need them to set the scene a bit more for me to understand the dynamics between the characters? But no, straight away it was pretty clear to see, you know what was going on, the relationships between the characters. Obviously, if I'd seen more of the glow friends, I might have a, a deeper understanding of certain you know, relationships between the characters or what their personalities are like, but I still managed to watch this and find it enjoyable. It, it's very well animated. The colour palette's not the sharpest. We have a lot of kind of dull, muted colours, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but considering they're called the Glow Friends, I was expecting it to be quite bright and vibrant and glowing, although they do look like they're glowing in absolute defence of the cartoon. That bit is well animated. Um, maybe if it was brighter, that wouldn't be as effective. So I guess it depends on which way you look at it. But either way, it was a nice story. And I think we had some nice messages in there. The animation quality was not too bad at all. Um, the voice cast includes the brilliant Frank Welker. And um, Lorenzo Music. And uh, a couple of other great voice names that I know, Carol O'Connor voices Santa Claus. Um, the voice cast appears to be different to the voice cast that's on Wikipedia. So I don't know if IMDb is missing some names or if the voice cast for this special in particular was slightly different. I'm not sure, but if anybody has any information to that effect, please feel free to let me know. But either way, the voice acting was really good. Everything was uh, very festive as well, very Christmassy, very snowy, very chilly, um, atmospheric. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. If, like me, you've never heard of the Glow Friends, but you like Christmas films, the Glow Friends Save Christmas is pretty good. I'm not now desperate to go and watch more Glow Friends films. I don't know if there are any more or if it was just a TV show, but certainly if I come across any more, maybe I'll give them a watch. For now, I'm pretty happy with this little, um, little Christmas story. Definitely not too bad.